Uh, this is the uh, this is the agenda of the regular board meeting of Southern Ed Board of Trustees mm -hmm. at the bottom of Cook County, Illinois, the day of June 13, 2023. June 13, 2023. Take a take the roll, please. Trustee Pat. Here. Trustee Hodges. Here. Trustee Garcia. Here. Trustee Greer. Here. Trustee Richardson. Here. Trustee Claybrook. Here. Quorum public. Can we stand for pledge allegiance to the Trustee Greer? Yes. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you. So, are there any corrections to be made for the minutes of May 9th and May 23rd from the board? I will ask for a motion to approve the minutes for May 9th, uh, 2023, as well as May 20th and 2020. I make a motion to uh, approve the minutes from the last board meeting. You'll have to be. Oh, the last two. Yes. There's a motion from the floor by Trustee Rickson to approve the uh, minutes for. May 9th and May 23rd. So we have a second? A second. A second by Trustee Hodges. Trustee Pat? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claiborne? Yes. Thank you, motion passed. Um, well, before we open the meeting to the public, if you have anything to say to the board, if you would just sign up and give us your name and your reason for addressing the board, and we'll be glad to hear from you. Please let us your comments for three minutes, please. I will ask for a motion to open the meeting to the public. A motion to open the meeting to the public. Can we have a second? Second. A second. The motion was made by Trustee Hodges. Was we'll second by Trustee Richardson. We'll take the roll. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. The motion to have the meeting is now open to the public for public comment. Okay, my name is uh, Sharon, and um, I'd like to thank uh, uh, Trustee, Trustee uh, Greer. I had told her when I came up here to get my shot that it was some stuff by, right behind me, by, in the back of the garage, and she had called me, and she asked me what was it taken care of, and I told her, yeah, because the, whoever owned the house, they came and moved the stuff, and I just would like to thank you very much for looking into it and taking care of it for me, okay? And I would like to thank um, Dwayne for, uh, when I talked with you and immediately over to take care of the situation. So thank you for being very busy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Are there any other public comments? I would like to thank Ralph. I had two situations that happened in my house at one time and uh, to continue. Uh, Dwayne took care of the first problem, and uh, Christine in the office took care of the second problem. I just told them and it was taken care of right away. And people complain, but they never say thanks for what people do, and I'd like to thank them. Good. Thank, Good. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other public comments? Are there any other public comments? I'll ask for a motion to close the meeting for the public. I make a motion to close the meeting to the public. I have a motion on close the uh, trustee Claybrook to close the meeting to the public. Do we have a second? I'll second it. A second by trustee Cap, let's take the Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. The yes. motion passed. meeting is not closed to the public. Um, I'd like to say that uh, I think our community is looking nice, and uh, we appreciate people keeping the properties up. Um, you know, some residents we still talk to about cleaning up the alleyways and, and uh, some tree trimming and some other items that we'll take care of uh, pretty soon. And um, 
like we said, that the uh, South Suburban Mayor of Black Caucus is a uh, grant of uh, scholarships to uh, students, uh, college students. And I have a flyer here. And uh, I'll give the trustee where she can put it under her report. She can read it more in particular and give you the particular details of it. But, but the requirement has to be in uh, before July the first, a college student that's in college and they'll get $500 if they get that all the time. Um, some people have reported uh, skunks and raccoons and uh, coyote sightings in the village. But we ask again that people would keep the uh, garbage lid closed. And, uh, I know a couple of people that seen it, they didn't leave them open all the time. Uh, it's almost like they don't even need a lid on it. But, uh, but keep your lid closed, I think that would help with that situation. And the last thing, um, if you would watch Channel 2 News tonight at 10 o'clock, and you might see some uh, uh, familiar faces on the Channel 2 tonight at 10 o'clock. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Just have to. Um, Secretary of State Mobile Unit will be here on Thursday, June 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. here at the Village Hall. You can do your renewal on your driver's license, state ID, or your um, plate renewal also. June 29th, Thursday, here at the Village Hall from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, if someone asked me a question, do they need to make an appointment or can they just come in? No, they can just come in. And COVID second, days, yeah, they can yeah, second, um, the clerk's office will be closed um, this coming Monday, June 19th, in observance of June 19th. Thank you, Thank you, Clark, for the for your report and the information. Uh, public education, health, safety, and welfare, trusted risk. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you so much for coming out this evening. The fire and ambulance report. There were nine calls. This is for the month of May, 2023. There were nine fire calls, and there were uh, there were five during the daytime, and there were four at night. And some of the calls were cooking, fire fire alarm activation, malfunction four miscellaneous calls and two automobile accidents. And for ambulance calls, there were 43, and this mm. is for the month of May. Mm. There were 24 during the daytime, and there were 19 during the uh, uh, nighttime. That was for the month of May, 2023. So ambulance was really busy for the month of May. There is a reason why uh, we st why we stop at stop signs. Their place in our jurisdiction for uh, and in our neighborhoods are subdivision. Some people ignore the stop signs. They're distracted by their cell phone, by playing their radios up loud. They may be in a hurry or they may think it's safe. About 25 to 30 percent and I may be saying it lightly, mm -hmm. do not stop at the stop signs. Sure, right? Driving is not a constitutional right. It's a privilege right. that can be revoked for many, many reasons. Mm -hmm. Drivers need to understand that stopping at a stop sign is not optional. Stop signs are used to alert people that need to slow down and prepare themselves for what's coming next. Uh, like a crosswalk, a driveway, a children just playing out with balls and then they'll ball go on the street and then they go running out in the street. So there's a reason for those stop signs. Mm -hmm. And we're asking to stop at the stop sign. Now if you get a ticket for running a stop sign, then there you go angry at us because you received a ticket. But as and you're going to say that we're wrong. But uh, again, stop signs, driving is a, a, a privilege. It's not a constitutional right. So we're asking everyone to please, please, please stop at these stop signs. Because the life that you save may be one of our children, it may be a relative, 
but we need everyone to obey those stop signs. When we start giving out tickets, then again, you're gonna be angry with us. And that will happen, solve all traffic commas on the street, and we will do that. Yeah. Amen. Okay. First. Our CPR class is filled. That's our CPR training class. Everyone on that list will be notified as to the date. We thought we were able to do, uh, to do July the 8th, but uh, we going through our dates, we see that that is taken up with another um, event that we have. So everyone on that list will be notified as to what day we will be doing the CPR class, and it will be soon. The classes will be had, held at the fire department. COVID-19 uh, will be at the Village Hall, June the 24th from 10 to 4. And if you know, we've been doing this every month for the past two years. People over 65, according to the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, may receive an extra booster vaccine. Now, uh, with these vaccines, we were able to give out gift cards of $100. But we never know how many cards that uh, will be sent to us to give out. So we always say, as supplies left. We had one person who came um, at our last month to, to receive a shot, and he came just before we closed. And of course, all of the gift cards were given out. So if you, if we have the gift cards this month, if you would like a gift card for receiving a vaccine, make sure you come early as possible. Our garage sale will be June, July the 15th, with a rain date of July the 22nd. So we hope that everyone participate. It's a lot of fun. It's a day of meeting your neighbors, meeting new people. It's just a really a fun day. So July the 15th, um, is our is our garage sale and flyers will be out tomorrow. I will make sure that they're out tomorrow. Um, if you'd like to receive, we want to get more information. We're also uh, we'll, uh, accepting school donations now. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have two flyers. If you would like to receive a flyer, I do have some extra after the meeting. Are you a military uh, person connected in need of a roof repair or replacement? Habitat for Humanity. They're partnering with Owens Corning Roof Deployment Program. To be eligible, you must be a homeowner in the South Suburban area. You must have a DD-214 showing an honorable discharge. You must provide document documentation that the household income falls below 80 percent. You must provide documentation that uh, of a current mortgage and homeowner insurance uh, payment. And you must be willing to partner with Habitat for Humanity and Owens Corn Corning throughout the application process. So all the information is here for you. And Dad, if you would like to receive this card, please feel free. Or if you would like to take a copy and share with someone else, please feel free. Okay, yeah. And the next one is Habitat for Humanity Home Ownership Program. Everyone deserves a decent place to call home. To start the application process, you must attend a virtual information set session where we will review the selection criteria and the application step for being a part of this uh, Habitat for Humanity. And this is for the South Suburban area. And they have the dates of the meeting that they would like for you to choose to pick one to uh, start the process. And it's also in the back, it's also in Spanish. So please feel free to take a copy. If you don't need it for yourself, take it for someone else um, to, to get the information. And I, the last thing I would like to say, let us all work together to keep our village safe. If you see something, say something. It is a cri if a crime is in progress, if someone's health, our safety, our property is in immediate danger, dial 911. Otherwise, for any immediate concern, dial the non-emergency number 
891-2122. Remember to lock your vehicle doors and never leave your vehicle running unattended. I just know someone who did that and he, uh, he his car was taken away. And when you're going to the bank, uh, to any of these stores, please make sure that you check your surroundings. As I was just listening on the news, how uh, people are following you. When you come out to the bank, they're following you home. So please, please be careful out there. And again, I thank everyone for coming. Good evening. Good evening. On uh, May 26, we celebrated <coughs> National Public Works Week with a uh, lunch for the uh, Public Works employee, the Superintendent uh, Wang, uh, Mayor Pope, and uh, I hope they enjoyed it just to show their appreciation. Also, uh, Public Works has been out cutting the grass and open lots and uh, trimming trees also, and keeping the village clean. We also uh, filled some of the low spots on the parkway today. You know, so many people got low spots and we try to cover those so when someone is more than glad they don't step down in the hole and toss the clip so we can eliminate any safety hazards that we want to do. You know, that's all I have. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. The only thing I have is that we're having a job fair next week, Wednesday, June 21st, and it'll be from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., and it'll be at the community center. So if you know anyone that's interested, please send them there with a resume. <laughs> I'm sharing that for you and me and Sue <laughs> <laughs> What was the time? Okay. 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. Okay. What's the name of the company? Uh, Flex and Gate. Oh, okay. I don't have any more copies, but we can make copies of it. So, I'll email them. We're not going to send out the website. Many people have benefited from that, from that company. Yes. 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 Okay, that's all you have for Yes. Thank you, Trustee Garcia, Finance Trustee Cap. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. I have a couple things today. First off, it's discussion of consideration of and taking action on authorizing the payment of last month's bills and this month's bills. I'd like to make a motion that we approve the payment of this month's and last month's bills. I have a motion on the floor by Trustee Cap to pay the bill for this second item is we've been spending a lot of time working with uh, heating and ventilation contractors to get quotes to replace the furnaces at the community center so I have a few and I need to contact a few of them to see about the availability because we heard there's a shortage of equipment so we need to find a company that will provide the equipment as well. So we'll have something by the next meeting to approve. The next item is uh, appropriation dates. We need to set up the dates for the appropriation hearings. So what's your schedules like? Everybody look at their calendar. We need at least two dates. At least. We're starting with two dates. Can you guys do that at the end of June, like June 26th that week? The Monday the 26th is good for me. That is that what you're thinking? Sure. Is that? You want in the daytime? You. Uh, I can, but you yeah, can. I, I'm working out daytime. I think daytime works best for me because I got meeting at night. Yeah, daytime. June 26th at what time? I'm good anytime. What about the other group? Yeah, okay. Grace, how about you? Um, You're probably working. Yeah, if it's in the daytime, yeah. What time should we get there? I'm off on Monday, so. Oh, so Monday's a good day. Yeah, for me. I don't care, like 10 o'clock on Monday? Yeah. So that'll be one? Yeah. And, and then the, once you're up, your second choice. Is that the same week? I, uh, 
I could do Wednesday morning. We have a meeting on Tuesday. I could do I could do Thursday in the day, and I could do Friday in the day. Okay. Next Thursday, Friday. 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 That week. Friday. Friday. You're not available on Wednesday. I'm, not I'm available in the morning, but not the afternoon. Not at two thirty. I have something at two thirty, but I could do Wednesday morning as well. Wednesday at ten. Want to do that? We'll shoot for Monday and Wednesday. Twenty sixth and twenty sixth and twenty eighth at ten. So I'm gonna be Wednesday. Okay, we'll we'll fill you in. We'll give you copies. <laughs> All right. Thank you. And then if we need another date, we could either do, I mean, if, if we don't get it done in two, we need, we could always finish on Friday or Saturday. Well, if we have to stay in eight hours, then we can stay in eight hours and be done. Okay. Uh, thank you, Toby. Yeah, thank you for recording your information. All right. Um, oh, wait, I'll save the other thing for last. I'll mention Leo at the end. Okay. Uh, public utility, uh, Trustee Richardson. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Discussion of, consideration of, and taking action to approve or not approve proposal for professional engineering services for the risk and re resiliency <laughs> assessments water system for the US EPA mandate. The Village of Burnham intends to comply with Section 2013 of America's Water Infrastructure Act and has requested professional services related to updating their existing vulnerability assessment and general compliances with the AWIA. For the above scope of services, Robinson Engineering LTD proposes a lump sum fee of 22500 this fee is based on our understanding of the project and experience with similar projects. So I'm making a motion to approve the proposal for the professional engineering services for the risk and resiliency assessment. Okay, so another motion approved by Trustee Richardson to, uh, to approve the proposal for 22 Okay, we have a second, please. I'll second it. Proposal for a professional engineering services for the emergency response plan. Water system per the US EPA mandate. The village of Burnham intends to comply with section 2013 of America's Water Infrastructure Act and has requested professional services related to the preparation of an emergency response plan and general compliance with the AWIA. For the above scope of services, Robinson Engineering LTD proposes the ERP to be completed on an hourly basis and with a not to exceed fee of $3,500. This fee is based on our understanding of the project and our experience with similar projects. Do you have any questions? All right, I, okay, I, I'm making a motion to approve the, the 3,500 from Robinson Engineering Services. Okay, so that was a motion by Trust Listen to approve this for 3500 for the emergency response plan. Could we have a second? A second. second. Oh. second by Trustee Hodges. Trustee Katz? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Clayton? Yes. Trustee Clayton? Yes. Motion passed. One more thing. NICOR installed an underground gas line at the water pump station. This gas line is needed to power a generator to be installed at a later date. If all power is lost, this generator will keep the water flowing until normal operations resume. So that's this just is for the east side of Burnham exclusively. So something from the water coming from Chicago. So this information yes. you want to report. Where would the generator, where would the generator be located? It'll be located inside the gas. 
make another question? Okay. Um, park and recreation, thank you, Chris. Park and recreation, Trustee Hodges. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I met with the executive director with the mayor. Me and the mayor went in over to uh, Cayman Memorial Park District. Uh, and we met with the executive director, and we're working hard to get some improvements done at the parks in Barton. So we should be seeing some improvements at the parks coming up. Definitely even more improvements next year. But little by little, we're putting pressure on to make sure our parks are nice and taken care of. And we've been working hard to advocate for Barton. So we actually showing up in the office and knocking on the doors. And I want to thank Mayor for coming with me and backing me up on that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Also, uh, Wednesday, June 21st, uh, the Thornton Township will be doing a day in the park here at Village Hall, right here across the way. They're going to have food, fun, entertainment. It's going to be from 4 to 7 p.m. over there at the park on Wednesday, June 21st. It's going to be a really fun day. Music, fun, dancing. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on over there. So come out and you're going to have some fun. It's going to be on June 21st. Also, Saturday, June 24th, I'll be doing an open gym for Burnham. All people burn them. It's going to be over there at Sandwich Community Center. Uh, right now, we got basketball, but I'm trying to work on maybe we need some other, other equipment. But right now, with basketball, or they definitely using the gym. You don't have to just do basketball, but we get to have free will to jump two to four that day. I mean, uh, it's going to be from actually one to four on Saturday, June 24th at Sandwich Community Center. Also, Saturday, July 8th, we'll be doing aerobic dancing with Mike D. Um, he's a famous dance choreographer for, for some famous people. He's going to be here in Burnham at the community center doing some dance aerobics and we'll be getting that together. So you're going to come by, learn some real choreography, some real dance at the community center. We got him coming along. I think uh, Trustee Clay Brooks and some other trustees bring him in. And so I'm trying to make sure we got some things to do this summer. So that's going to be on July 8th. And also, I want to keep everyone updated. There is a summer program for the kids. The Thorn Township has a summer enrichment program, which is free. Um, it's going to be, you go to thorntownship.com to register your kids. And all they got to do with this, uh, if you want to register as the parent, this guy, the person who registers has to have a burn ID. And they can be part of the summer program. Okay? Trustee, um, Trustee Jeff. What's up? Uh, uh, July 8th, what time? July 8th will be at 12 o'clock. In 12? Yeah, 12. Okay. So to uh and oh also I'll be passing out we, we should begin the books for Cotman Memorial Park District the stuff that's going on this summer we should begin the schedule should be coming out I should be going door to door passing out the books to everyone to make sure they stay up to date what's going on at the parks this summer um, not just our parks but also the other parks in the in South Cotman Memorial Park District they're doing some really good stuff going on so we should be able to have those coming out and that's it. Uh, yeah. You got a question? Can you just remind people about the books out there in the lobby there. The okay. Southland books. It's so oh, interesting. Yeah. It has a lot of going on vacation or various information, restaurants, uh, if you need a hotel. It's very interesting, very informative. They're stacked out there in the lobby. Please take one. Yes. Oh, the Southland books. So, yeah, and the, they actually have a lot of great events going on all through the Southland. Yes. Not just because <laughs> a lot of times I talk about what's going on in the parks. But the Southland books, like like coming up Wednesday over there at Lansing, they're doing a big festival, and that's going to start like I believe like at one all day long, to like seven. But that will be in the Southland book, so we get those in the front, and they've got the different schedules. Why well, would keep guys up there with that? Usually I give you announcements on that at the meetings too. But today I want to keep it inside of Burnham because we actually got stuff going on here for the summer too. Does that make sense? And also we we've been personally invited from Trustee Johnson. Um, over there at, uh, at uh, Oak Forest Trustee to Field Day, which is Friday, June 30th for the kids. It, um, it's basically they can learn how to golf. Um, it's, going to, it's called Field Day at the park, and it's going to be at, uh, at George What Dunn Golf Course, 16310 Central Avenue, Oak Forest, Illinois. And he actually personally invited the kids and the people of Brown that day, too. So we've been connecting with people trying to make sure we got stuff to do in Brown. So thank you, Shamir. I appreciate it. Thank you, Phil. It's hard to put that information. We mm -hmm. really appreciate it. I'm sure the public will as well. Um, are there a presentation or petitions? Do we have any communication, memorials? I think we should mention that uh, one of our residents who helps us a lot in the village, Leo Uribe, he was in a bad accident last Friday. 
He was helping somebody trim a tree or cut down a tree and a branch hit him in the head. Oh, no. So he's better than he was. He's not on a ventilator. Wow. He broke his nose, his eye sockets, his oh, jaw, no. his Ouch. head. He has like four bleeding bleeders in his brain, oh, but he's yeah. doing better. So he's, he's still in the hospital. So yeah, he's, he's been transferred to a couple hospitals. So oh, keep him in your prayers at night. That's Leo. Yeah, Everybody knows who Leo is. Yeah. Yeah. He's the guy that walks the dog on Burnham yeah. Avenue while he's picking up garbage. Yeah. And so then, so yeah, keep him. The other thing I forgot to mention that what Dwayne and I were working on is getting quotes for the maintenance of our furnaces and air conditioners. So I do have one good quote for that, but I met with contractors and went to all the facilities, so we kind of got, we'll probably talk about that the next meeting as well. Okay, uh, thank you. Do we have any unfinished business? Do we have any new business? I guess that was new. Okay, so I'm gonna ask for a motion to, uh, to close this meeting and ask for a motion to go into executive session so the procedure is and the, and the law is that we have to uh, discuss the issue of terminating an employee or discipline an employee to deal with any uh, litigation, I mean, whether it's imminent or otherwise, then we have to go into the next session in the back. So if you would, uh, you're willing to stay until we come back out, you have to do so, so we will be going to this next session. So at this time, I will ask for a motion to uh, join the meeting here. At this time, then I'll have to know what we're going to do. We'll do it after we get in that right. The second session. I'll ask for a motion to join the meeting here so we can go into the second session. We're, we're not watching the full session and coming out and then Right, we don't adjourn this one until we right. come back. Yeah, well, okay. okay. we need a motion to open the full session. Yeah. So, could we have a motion for the closed session? All right, I'll make the motion that we go into closed session. We need a second. Second. Motion made by Trustee Cap. A second by Trustee Garcia. Trustee Cap. Yes. Trustee Hodges. Yes. Trustee Garcia. Yes. Trustee Greer. Yes. Trustee Richardson. Yes. Trustee Clayton. Yes. Motion passes. Second. 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 Oh, yeah, so I'm going to go